And there you go. You have a good one. So why Boba Fett? Is it just me or Boba Fett kind of sucks, right? He was just this little side character from the original trilogy, but 40 years later, after his first debut, he's now getting his own standalone season of television. It just is so odd that this B character, who only appeared in two Star Wars movies before being digitally added into a scene from A New Hope, has expanded into such a vast obsession for so many people. The Mandalorian planet and race and culture is literally just built around this guy who stood in the back of shots with his hands folded or, or gun pose. He isn't actually very good at his job. His first appearance is in The Empire Strikes Back where he's given the task to hunt down the rebels, which he doesn't actually do. He hides out in the trash to follow our heroes, predicts that they're going to Cloud City and then lets the Empire know about it and they set up the trap. He doesn't set up the trap for our heroes. No, the Empire does. And then he spends the rest of the movie just complaining to Darth Vader, the most intimidating monster in the galaxy, just sitting going, hey, hey, don't, don't break my toys. Don't break my, you said you wouldn't break my toy. And then Darth Vader just gives him Han Solo. He didn't really do that much to acquire Han Solo, but yes, he's gonna take the credit by returning him to Jabba. Boba Fett went out like a punk, and I don't think anybody can debate that. First off, man just blasts off while T-posing over to the little station, immediately gets his gun cut in half. Yeah, he gets Luke with the cable, but then while he's taking 10 minutes to stand up and aim real careful like Luke on the other like ship, thing, he then just gets hit in the back by a blind Han Solo and just Wilhelm screams his way into a hole in the sand that then burps him up. I... It always felt canonically like that was the death rattle of Boba Fett as he was crushed and digested and then he became this burp and the burp joined with the force and it was the end of Boba Fett and that's great. So he could show up in the prequels but never again. But no, enough fans just collectively willed it. They all just got together and held hands and said, Boba Fett's still there? Boba Fett climbed his way out of the suck pit. And he, and he, he still battled his way across the, the galaxy. And then Disney just did it. They just said, okay, yeah, you know what? Boba Fett's alive and he's getting his own show. Also, why did we see him as a kid? We meet his dad, Jango Fett, and then Boba watches him get decapitated. And there's a shot of him holding his dad's helmet that we assume has his still decapitated head. And he puts it to his head. It's just the whole like, he's sad. His head's probably still in the- Speaking of Jango Fett, uh, can we all talk about the very cool badass missile that Jango Fett fires off in Attack of the Clones while he's fighting Obi-Wan, yeah, the one strapped to his back? Yeah, the one that Boba Fett was introduced with? that Boba Fett never fired off. Boba Fett is wearing a missile, a rocket just on his back between his shoulder blades and he never does anything with it. It wasn't until the attack of the clones in the early 2000s that we saw it fired for the first time. Oh, side note, uh, his ship is called Slave One. So what, what's up with that, huh? I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm being too hard on him. I mean, after all, the man does rock a mustache and glasses, top notch. And plus, it's fun. People like Boba Fett. But anyway, that's just it. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, hey, want some lemonade? There you go. Y'all have a good one.